Everyone, Chris here from anabolicmen.com where we give you 100% research-backed information to help you on your journey to optimize your hormonal health. And so today we're going to be talking about the five true causes of erectile dysfunction in modern men. Now erectile dysfunction in and of itself, you have to be aware, is a symptom of other issues. So there are five main causes uh, that, that are root problems that cause erectile dysfunction. And when you understand what these five root causes of ED are, uh, it becomes much easier to solve your ED problem rather quickly. The first cause is micronutrient deficiencies. Now micronutrient deficiencies with, rel with relation to erectile dysfunction are important for two reasons. First off, they are one of the biggest causes of low testosterone in general. And when you have low testosterone, you will generally have ED issues. Now, secondly, if you're deficient in the uh, micronutrients that are required for nitric oxide production in your body, that will cause an ED issue. And that leads us into the second cause of erectile dysfunction in men is, and this is the, the by far the most common issue, and, and it's an easy way to solve this problem, is uh, vascular complications. The way that your erections work is you, you're required, the, basically the body will produce nitric oxide and dilate blood vessels in, in your veins, so you, your body ends up sending a lot of blood to your penis to make an erection happen, basically. So what happens with guys who have erectile dysfunction issues is they generally have vascular complications. They have poor NO production. Now there are a lot of ways, and these are rather simple ways, to optimize your NO production in your body. And when you understand how, how straightforward this can be, uh, it's awesome because it relieves a lot of stress out of a lot of guys' lives. So that can also help, you know, like lowering your stress. So there are a list of foods. We have an ED grocery list uh, that we put together. So if you eat the foods off of this ED grocery list, uh, specifically things that are high in nitrates, because what happens is the bacteria on your tongue uh, converts nitrates in your food from things, for example, like leafy greens, uh, it converts, in beets also, converts nitrates into what's known as a nitratine, and that helps with NO production in your body. So there are a lot of foods on that list uh, that are high in nitrates, and there are also foods like garlic and foods high in, in antioxidants and vitamin C that when, especially when taken in combination with one another, you see massive increases in NO production in the body, garlic plus vitamin C. So focusing on addressing any kind of vascular complications that you have, Focusing on eating foods and taking uh, specific supplements that help with increasing NO production, uh, for example, like the garlic C plus vitamin or garlic plus vitamin C uh, together. Also, horse chestnut extract. Also, pycnogenol, which is pine bark extract, has really good research behind it for increasing uh, nitric oxide production and blood flow in in human men. Uh, so, if you supplement with and, and eat the right foods, uh, you can get rid of that NO issue rather quickly. Now, the third uh, true cause of low uh, or of erectile dysfunction in modern men, if you are addressing all these other things and you're still having problems, it can generally be prescription medications can cause this problem uh, and substance abuse. Now, the most common things that, that I've seen uh, where guys have problems with, with ED with relation to prescription meds is actually uh, amphetamines. So amphetamines can cause what's known as, as speed dick in in uh, colloquial terms. So uh, what happens is the amphetamines will uh, basically cause you to have, you know, and everyone who's ever used Adderall, Ritalin, that kind of thing, or, or meth, I don't know how many people use meth that are watching this video, but if you use an amphetamine, you'll, you'll notice rather quickly that your, your, sex, your sexual desire and your sexual drive just disappears. It also will cause testicular shrinkage. So cutting back on, if you really need the Adderall, you feel you need the Adderall, uh, cutting back on it or just getting rid of it a few days a week out of, out of your routine, you'll see that, that uh, downstairs gets a little more blood flow. So that's an easy fix. In terms of substance abuse, you see just a lot of ED problems in people who use hardcore drugs, but also people who uh, drink a lot. So alcohol, in, in large quantities will cause, and this is also just has, it's, it's so common it has a, a colloquial term, is, is uh, whiskey dick, and that's in, over the short term, uh, you know, guys who drink too much have problems getting it up, uh, you know, that night, 
but then also you'll, you'll see in alcoholics, alcoholics have extremely low testosterone, extremely high estrogen levels, and then they also have ED complications. So that's the long-term ramification of, high, of substance abuse of alcohol, for example. Now, the fourth cause of ED, if you, if you address everything else and you still have ED problems, you may be in this boat, and, and usually they're not exclusive of one another, but this one is uh, metabolic complications or metabolic syndrome or symptoms of metabolic syndrome where uh, generally it's, it's caused by poor insulin regulation, so you have high insulin resistance as well as excess body fat. So if you are, if you are overweight and you know you're overweight and you're honest with yourself that you have some pounds to lose and you have ED problems, dropping that weight will help in many hormonal ways. Uh, you'll see an increase in testosterone because body fat you know, is inherently estrogenic, but also uh, the increase in testosterone will come, or the uh, increase in uh, insulin sensitivity will come along with dropping that, that body fat. So what you're gonna see is that your, the metabolic complications that are causing issues with ED will start to disappear because you'll, your, your whole body will be uh, healthier and will feel better and the hormonal uh, environment in your body is naturally going to be more balanced as you drop that weight and get back into a healthy body weight range which for men is generally between 10% uh, and 15% body fat where you're going to be feeling at your best. So the, the final cause of, of erectile dysfunction in modern men and I touched on this in the beginning, the very beginning, was uh, low testosterone. Now Low testosterone is an entire issue in and of itself as a symptom, and there are causes of low testosterone that you can be addressing, one of which is the micronutrient deficiencies, like I said, uh, but there are a lot of other causes. So if your testosterone is low, increasing your testosterone naturally, you will see your ED is one, or the ED is one of the things that goes away right away. And uh, sometimes also, and this is just a quick tip, if you are on a, a macronutrient-restricted diet, Typically, we see this a lot with, and I've seen this, we've been doing this for years. We've been teaching guys this stuff, and it always pops up. Guys who have been doing really low-carb diets for a long time, uh, when they introduce carbohydrates back into their diet, they, they get rid of any ED problems almost immediately. Within a few days, it's kind of, it's crazy. I've gotten a lot of emails where guys, oh, I've been doing, you know, a, a keto diet or, or a more hardcore paleo diet for for the last two years and I completely lost all sexual desire, I completely lost all my sex drive and I, I have no libido, what should I do? I always say eat some simple starches and load it back toward the, in the evening time. If you eat the starches uh, around dinner time, because a lot of people are still scared of carbs for some reason, but they, if they eat the, the carbs before they go to bed in the, in the evening time at dinner, uh, they will generally actually within a few days to a few weeks their erectile dysfunction issues are completely gone. And they wake up in the morning with a hard morning wood. And you know, that it's, it really can be that simple sometimes. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, remember, we'll just recap real quick the five true causes of erectile dysfunction in modern men. We have micronutrient deficiencies. We have uh, vascular deficiencies or vascular complications. So that will have anything to do with nitric oxide production. And this is one of the, the simplest ways to uh, ensure, it's kind of like an insurance policy. If you're eating foods that help with nitric oxide production, and if you're taking certain supplements that help with nitric oxide production in your body uh, on a daily basis, you will, over time, really have no issues for the rest of your life uh, with erectile dysfunction. You will be very healthy. The third thing is prescription medications and substance abuse, and that's also very common. So if, you, if you're taking any kind of meds, specifically also amphetamines, can, can cause a lot of ED issues. So cut back on those. Also cut back on excessive drinking. Uh, just some you know, basic common sense stuff. The, the fourth thing is metabolic syndrome and any complications with that where you have high insulin resistance. So basically poor insulin regulation in your body and then excess body fat. So if you have fat to lose, lose the fat and you'll see the ED is solved rather quickly. And then the, the last one is low testosterone. And uh, there are many ways to solve low testosterone. We have entire, you know, probably over 100 articles on anabolic men, just free articles on anabolic men, how to solve low testosterone issues. Uh, we also have the Test Shock program, which tells you all the basics in one convenient place. You know, you can learn everything you need to know about how to eliminate low testosterone on anabolicmen.com. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel, you want more videos like this, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.